Welcome back to Practically Creative. My name's Melissa. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I am working on the Holiday Hop with Sylvia at UNB FPP, and we are creating a mini quilt. So each of us is doing six blocks, and the block for today is this. This is called a Jewel Box by c and Publishing, and it is included in their second box, the Quilt Builder card deck number two. I'm not going to go into the big details about how to sew this because I already have done this block um, as a live and as a tutorial. So I will put a, uh, what is that thing called? I'll put a link to it up here in the description or in a card on the playlist. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you really fast how I put this together and then I will sew the block up and show you the final block. So let's come down here to the cutting table so you can see what I've done so far. Okay, so, so far what I've done is I have created a long strip of the two colors that I want to use for my B and C on this, excuse me, my C and D, and I'm going to put together two four patch blocks. And then the other item I have done is I have sewn together one large half square triangle. And this is to go in the four corners of the blocks. If these terms are new or unfamiliar to you, I do explain them further in the original tutorial. And then we're just gonna finger press these out and lay them down where they are supposed to be. And this is how this block gets laid out. Now I'm gonna go over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew everything together. But before I go over there, I wanna get rid of my dog ears so that they don't cause me issues. And I'm going to put those right back down where they belong. So my secret for doing piece blocks, especially if I'm following a new or unfamiliar pattern, is to make sure that I lay everything out exactly how it's supposed to be laid out. And then I sew it in that exact order. So let me take this over to the sewing machine real quick. And I'll be back to show you this block. And it's cool to have a little tiny cutting board because you can just pick it all up and move it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, I know it's short and sweet, but we have done the jewel box before. And um, just as an FYI or a question for all you folks out there, when we did this one on a live, we had a debate about whether a jewel box block is actually one block or four set together. I was raised and I always made them as four set together. And um, I'm a little surprised that this particular pattern calls for um, just the one section of the four and calls it the jewel box block. So tell me what you think down below in the comments. Also, um, I am doing Holiday Hop. We're creating a mini quilt with Sylvia at you and me FPP. If you're following along and making a quilt with us, I would love it if you would post your quilts on my Facebook page, Practically Creative with Melissa, <clears throat> or on Sylvia's Facebook page. She shares a Facebook page with Laureate Quilting in the Country. So look up Quilting in the Country or Sylvia, you and me FPP on Facebook. We would love to see your pictures. And if you've enjoyed the tutorial or you're enjoying it so far, please feel free to like and subscribe. I'll put a link to the Holiday Hop up in the playlist somewhere up here. And I'll also have another video that shows up for you showing some of the other things that I create. If you'd like to go take a look at it, please feel free to do so. Thank you for watching and happy holidays, everybody.